KPM. Didik TV KPM. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, step your feet. If you're happy and you know it, step your feet. Wow! If you're happy and you know Teacher, it. you look so happy. What's going on? Yes, yeah, Sean. Sure. I'm very happy looking at my plants here, you know. They are growing so healthily wow. from the seedlings, you know, from the seeds. When I plant and it is big now. You mean it grew from just the seed to a big plant like this? Yes, yeah, Sean. Sure. Oh, how can that happen? You want to know about that? Yeah. You must join my class. Let's follow Let's me to the class. Let's go. All right. All right. Hello everyone! You are now watching Level 1 or Tahap Satu on Didik TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven as your host. And for today, our lesson is Science DLP for Year 2. Ah, and we have a very important topic for today. But before that, let's introduce our teacher for today, which is Teacher Davy. Hi, teacher. Hi, Sean. How are you doing today? I'm great, Sean. That's right. And before we continue, we also like to introduce our sign language interpreter of the day, which is Teacher Zaharato from SK Taman Bunga Raya, Rawang Selangor. Hi, teacher. And how are you today? Wonderful! I'm really, really interested to know what we are actually learning today. So teacher, yes. what is our lesson about today? Yeah, our lesson for today is about the growth of plants. Ooh, alright. Yes, so let us have a look what are the growth of plants we know. Okay, okay. so our lesson today is growth of plants. Mm -hmm. We are going to learn about basic needs for the seeds to germinate. Oh, okay. okay. There are basic needs for the seed to germinate. Okay. okay. For example, when you need, you want to plant the seedling, just now you want to know, right, mm -hmm. how I plant the seedlings, right? Yes. Okay, first thing, the basic need for the seed to germinate is water, mm -hmm. air, air, and suitable temperature. Okay. Yeah. So, if you see, without these three, the seed won't germinate. Okay, teacher, you keep on mentioning the word germinate. Germinate means for the seeds to grow. Yeah, is it? it will open up and uh, the, 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 what, the root will come out. Yes. The shoot will come out. That mm -hmm. we call germinate. Ah, okay. Uh, now I understand. All right. Okay. So, after this, we're going to see uh, about the... Okay, when we see quiz, just mm -hmm. now I said three things, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I want to check on you. Okay. All right. Okay, can you, Sean, tell me what are the basic needs for the seed to germinate? Okay, hmm, maybe my friends at home can also help. What do you think? So we have to answer three. Let me guess. What did you say? Okay, I think it's water, suitable temperature, and also soil. Can you start? doing that oh over ah. here ah okay so basic needs mm -hmm. for the seed to germinate mm. okay there are five so you have to figure out there are okay. three arrows right that means three yes. answers three answers so yeah. earlier teacher davy mentioned water so i'll put water over here all right and then suitable temperature over here and we just stick this properly so everyone can see okay Mm. And last but not least, what hmm, is that? Is it, nutrition? it should be <laughs> air. Wow. Okay. Is that correct, Sean? Mm. Are you sure? I hope so. Yes, you are Yay! correct. So I give you one star for one you. One star. Yes. Just take Thank you. one star for you. Congrats, Sean. So mm -hmm. there are three basic needs for the seed to germinate. Yep. There are water, mm -hmm. air, 
and suitable temperature. Yes. Okay. One more question for you. Okay. Okay. When they growing time, mm -hmm. okay, without when there's no seedling, is already grow up. Yeah. So what they need? Oh, once they have grown, I think they would need uh, sunlight. Yes. And also uh, nutrients. Very good. That's why that one during their seedling, mm -hmm. so they do not need uh, sunlight and nutrition. Ah, okay. Because why? The seed itself will supply the nutrition for the seeds uh, to this. grow. Oh, to germinate. something yes. new I learned today and hopefully you have as well. But right now we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Level 1 on Didit TV KPM. KPM wow. Look at that They are growing so well How is this possible? It's so nice Ah, Sean you are really surprised with that, is it? Yes. Okay, you want to learn more about it? Yes, please. Okay, now we are going to learn how to plant these seedlings. Okay. Okay, All okay. Right. why not you try it out? Okay. Okay, uh, just put it aside. All right. Okay. Um, you might, can use a, a pot like this. Okay. Or the transparent cup like this. Okay. Okay. All right. If uh, children at home, you want to mm -hmm. try, you just use this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you just take some... Soil. Soil, okay. yes. So I'll just so place it on top. Which one should I use for so this So which one you prefer? So I, um, I think I'll maybe use... I sc uh, maybe children at home, they don't have pot, they can use this. Okay, then we'll use this yeah. as an example. Yes. Okay, so we have this. And then you put some soil inside. Put some soil, okay. So, hmm, let me just scoop a little mm -hmm. here. How much of soil should we put at inside? At least half of the cup. Half yeah. of the cup, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, teacher. Here, okay. And this should be about half. Right, okay. right. Enough. Yeah. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you do, you take the seeds. Okay. This is green pea. Yeah? Green pea. Yes. So green pea, you just put few seeds inside the Inside. Soil. So one by yeah. one, yeah? Yeah. One okay. by one. So I have here, mm -hmm. we got one seed over here, replacing it inside. Just at the top. Yeah, one more here. Yeah. How many should I put? Uh, just put, I think, uh, don't put so much, maybe in six or seven enough. Six or seven. So yeah. I got five in here, I have to be separated with some. Because the cup distance. is small, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll just put six. Okay. All right. So All right. don't forget, after mm -hmm. we plant the seeds, we mm -hmm. must. Water. Water it, yes. Okay, so here's But some here you must remember, you mm -hmm. must water it every day. Every day? Yes, every ah. day. You must water it every day. Okay. So that because that's the basin we learned, right? Oh yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the basin is okay. One more thing is, mm -hmm. Sean, you must know when you plant this, you, you don't have to put it outside the house. Oh, we don't. Yeah, no need to put outside the compound, a school, or where you can mm -hmm. keep it in a lab. Okay. So science lab, or you can keep it in your house if you are doing at home. Okay. So you just keep, and then you can see uh, how it's growing like this. Yeah. Just wow. Just like you was amazed looking at Correct. it, right? So this is what will happen. This is just three days. Three days. Oh, in just three days, mm -hmm. you will get this height. Wow! And yes. these are bean sprouts, right? Yeah. Bean and sprout. these come from green peas. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, now I do. <laughs> so not only green pea, mm -hmm. you, you may you may use uh, uh, what we call the corn. Okay. The corn, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you might use uh, what soya bean seed. Soya beans as well. Yeah. So that's soya the one that's a bit more whitish. Thicker. Yeah. I see. Yes. Ooh. So once they are growing, mm -hmm. okay, we can see here, okay, what you can see. One, it's growing time. Yep. What are the changes you can see there? Ah, from this picture, I noticed that. Uh, number one, it's bigger in size, so it grows taller. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, I see there are more leaves. Yes. Okay. So from see from the start, then to the uh, third picture there, you can see there's four leaves. How many seeds you can find here, son? 
seeds? I mean, I mean the leaves. Okay, here I think it's only one. Okay, there? usually got Something. two. It will come out two. Okay. You can see there also. Ah, yes, that's yeah, right. There here, are two. there's two. After that, then when the seedling is not, not there, mm -hmm. okay, what you can see, how many leaves are there? Now there are four leaves. Okay, after it's growing, you can find figure out how many leaves wow, are there. Wow, I think that's about 10 or 12. Yeah, exactly. So, while they are growing, you can see the changes. Okay, it changes on the height of the seedlings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it changes on the number of the seedling, number okay. of the uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. And you also can see the changes on the circumference of the stem. Ah, yeah. okay. We see there, yes. the stem. Mm -hmm. So you can see some got different size of circumference of stem, yeah, right? Some are thicker, so, some, some are thicker. Some are maybe mm -hmm. it based on the whatever they are. Maybe some is a bit the water, lack of water, mm -hmm. it just grow. Uh, late or be yep. you know, germinate late. That's why it, uh, some is tall, some is still short. I Even see. though I plant it in the at the same day. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, that's a different. So it depends on the seedlings also. Okay. Okay. Do, not not to say when you plant on the same day the height was the same. Okay. You know, it can be different height. Okay? okay. But only thing it will grow. It mm. will grow from the seed to the tree. Okay. Just now you saw my trees, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what you can see. Ah, ah, all right. So, mm -hmm. anything that uh, if you want to plant, you must know that they must have a suitable temperature, mm -hmm. they must have a water, and mm -hmm. they must have a air. Okay. Okay, let us, I ask you one question. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we keep the plants inside the cupboard, I mean okay. the, the seedling inside the cupboard, you yeah. think it will grow or not? Hmm. It will I germinate or not? I think it will still germinate uh, if it has enough water, enough air, and also the right temperature. Then yes, because like teacher Davy mentioned, it doesn't need sunlight to germinate. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I give you another start. Uh, you have uh, you planted the seeds yep. and uh, you managed to answer my question. So I give you three stars. Three stars! Wow! Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're so generous. Yeah, of course, because we are very smart. Oh, thank you, mm. teacher. So I hope those are at home. You can try out to plant these seedlings at home. You can use a clear pot or maybe you can take a clear uh, transparent cup at home. Mm -hmm. Or if not, you can take the you can see the container. Yep, Sometimes we can reuse the container that we buying at uh, anywhere. We yep. just after we use that, we reuse. We say mm. we reuse that, and then we just plant it inside there. Ah. So you can see, observe the seedling. You might see the growth of seedling for nine days. Nine days. Actually, after nine days, mm -hmm. you won't see any more beans there. Oh, okay. No more beans. Once the beans is not there, mm -hmm. that means it needs. Sunlight. Sunlight. Okay. Because no more nutrition was supplied. Yes. So they need sunlight, then they get the nutrition through the photosynthesis. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I hope uh, though uh, Sean can do it at home mm -hmm. as well, the students at home also can do this. All right. Yes. So let us see this uh, stages of plants' growth. You see seed, mm -hmm. germination of seed, mm -hmm. and then seedling. And then we can see mature plant. Okay? okay, there's a plant already grown up, and it can produce another seed. I mean, it's a fruits all that. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, this is the one we must know. So this is the height of the plant mm -hmm. on the third day, sixth day, and ninth day. Okay. You can see the different, right? Yes. So, so there's a different. Difference. Obviously, we can see the different. But on the ninth day, we can see the seeds, uh, the the beans is no more there. Yeah. Can you see that? Notice that. That's right. So this time they need sunlight. Mm. This is the time they need sunlight. Okay, so I hope uh, they they should know when the plants grow, mm -hmm. the number of leaves, the size of leaf, the height of plant, and the circumference of the stem will increase. increase. Okay, Sean. Okay. Okay, I have a question to you. Oh, oh, all right. I'm ready. Okay, so let's. How? What are the changes you can see when the seedlings are growing? Okay, so there are a few. Uh, one of it, the uh, the plant will grow taller. Okay. Number two, uh, will the uh, number of um, number of leaves will increase. All right. Number three, the size of the leaves will increase as Very well. Very good. And number four, the circumference of the branch or the uh, the, stem. The, the stem, correct? The yes. stem will also increase. Yeah, I mm. managed to answer. I give you four stars. Four stars! Wow, that's yes. a lot. 
And wow. hopefully my friends at home have also answered the right answer and they will also get four stars, right? Yeah, I give them four stars as well. Ah, okay, teacher, wow. do you have any more questions for me? Because I think I can answer more. Okay, um, what do you think will happen to the plant if we never put them outside when there's no seeds around the seedling? Hmm, so when they germinate, when the seeds germinate, they don't, uh, they, they don't need external uh, sunlight uh, or that. You know, nutrients because they get it all from okay. the seed. But once there are no longer seeds, I think they need sunlight and they also, yes, they need sunlight. So I think uh, if we don't put it out in the sun, uh, I think they won't be able to grow so and they will eventually will die. Yeah, they will wilt first, then yeah. they will die, correct? correct yeah. yeah, that's why make sure once we we can see who is really growing with the seedlings growing mm -hmm. and the normal seeds there, make sure you can take and plant it in a different pot. Ah. Ah, you can take another pot, mm -hmm. just take out one, each of the seedlings that grown up yep. and then you just plant it in a different pot. Ah. So it grow healthily because it won't, no need to, we say, compete with each other. That's right. That's right. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is the one, correct. All right. I'll give you another one more star. Wow, yay, I'm collecting so many stars today. Thank you so much, Teacher Davy. Uh, and hopefully for those of you watching at home, you have learned so much from this segment. But don't go anywhere, we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Didit TV KPM. Didit TV KPM. Look at all this, all this food here. What are you doing? Sean, these are vegetables, mm -hmm. vegetables and uh, you know the fruits yes. are very important for human beings. Oh yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so we are going to learn about importance of plants for human and animals. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, let us have a look mm -hmm. that there are few importance of uh, plants for the human being. Okay. 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 Let us have a look. Importance of plant for the human being are habitats for the animals. Mm -hmm. You know, habitat means the place where do animals stay. Okay. Okay. So plants are very important for the animals to live on it, and they also need the plants to as a uh, to produce air. Yes. Okay. You know, plants can produce air. Uh, we can say it's oxygen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oxygen are need by human and animals. Right. Yeah. So after that, uh, other than air, it also supply food for human and animals. Mm. For just now, you sh I yes, showed like right. These so these are the thing we can take in for as our food. Correct. Yes. Okay. And they are very nutritious. Mm -hmm. Am I right? You ag agree with me? Yes. All right. Next one more is plants also can be used to produce medicine. Medicine. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, vitamin C. Okay. From where they made the vitamin C? Hmm. Where, whenever I eat a vitamin C pill, it tastes like oranges. Is it exactly. come from orange? Yes. Oh. So they extract the oranges, and of course, there are some other supplements they will add on. Mm -hmm. Then it will produce medicine. Ah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So these are the four uh, benefits from the plants. Okay. Okay. Yes. So let us have a look. Can mm -hmm. I ask? quiz for you. Oh, all right. Okay. What are the importance of plants mm -hmm. for human and animal shop? Hmm, okay, for humans and animals, okay, let me just relate to humans first. Yeah. I would say that it is good uh, as a source of food. Mm -hmm. Like what I see right now, I'm already very hungry because I can see these delicious tomatoes, we got some chili, and we also have some spinach and some nice vegetables over here. Mm -hmm. That's number one for food. Number two in terms of vitamins, yeah? Yes. So some fruits or some vegetables, even plants, are uh, able to create vitamins that are essential yes. to humans. Okay? Yes. Uh, aside okay. from that, in terms of um, for animals, or actually, yeah, for animals, animals? Uh, the plants provide a place for them to stay, or in other words, uh, habitat, habitat yes. for animals. Yes. And number three, I think for both 
humans as well as animals uh, they generate air or for example like you mentioned oxygen, oxygen. which we need or because without oxygen Oxygen, Can't then leave. we won't be able to breathe. Yeah, exactly. Yes. yes, very good. Well done, Sean. I give it two stars for two you. Two stars. Wow. Yes. All right. right. So, so one, now we can two, find two. out there are so many importance from the plants, right? Mm -hmm. So first, I uh, just mentioned it can produce medicine. We can mm -hmm. produce. It can also be uh, our food. Yes. And also uh, can supply air mm -hmm. in terms of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also habitat for the animals. Yes. All right. So these are the things that you must know the importance of plants. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So if let's say, if let's say, uh, what would happen if we um, you know, don't plant enough of plants around or if we, for example, uh, do not take care of uh, mother nature itself mm. in this sense what will happen to us okay humans? Sean actually when uh, we don't take care of our mother nature mm -hmm. okay so we will lack of oxygen okay okay mm -hmm. and the temperature of surrounding also will increase okay because the plants always control the temperature our surrounding temperature mm -hmm. okay even though they need a uh, temperature suitable temperature to grow mm -hmm. at the same time they also uh, regulate the yes, temperature. Yes, they also produce. Oh. Then uh, they always control our surrounding temperature because yes. the oxygen they are giving us mm -hmm. it will uh, reduce the temperature, surrounding I temperature, see. and they take in the carbon dioxide. Mm. Okay, when the plant they will do uh, carbon, uh, I mean photosynthesis, mm -hmm. they will they need carbon dioxide. So yes. during that time they will take in the carbon dioxide. They will produce oxygen. Ah. That time the balance, the I mean the temperature will be more balanced. I see. If not, let's say if you go to the desert. Okay, how you feel is very hot without the plants, mm. correct? Yes. So that's what we say. We must take care of our plant. Don't simply cut down the trees. Mm -hmm. You know, don't simply uh, pluck the leaves. The leaves. Yes, yes, that's right. See Thank up. you so much, teacher, for our lesson for today because we have learned so much. Could you also kindly give us a short recap of what we have learned today? Yeah, Sean. Today we have learned about basic needs for the plants to germinate. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the seed. Sorry, yeah. for the seed to germinate. The basic needs are air, mm. water and suitable temperature mm -hmm. and we also learn about how to plant the seeds, yes. right? So how to plant the trees uh -huh. and we also learn about importance of the seedlings, I mean yes. the plants for the human and animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, If you see importance, we just learn about they can produce medicine, food, air and uh, I mean the food, air, and one uh, more what? Food, air, medicine. Medicine. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's what oh, we have learned. Oh, all right. Yes. Thank you so much for our lesson for today. What about my overall performance throughout this lesson? Yeah, Sean. For overall performance, you did well. I think I have uh, give you for the overall performance. I give you another two more stars two for more you. Two more stars. Yes, for wow. the overall performance. So how many stars overall you got it? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lucky stars. Wow, that's great. Great. So <laughs> that's what you are really performed today, mm -hmm. and because you managed to answer all my questions very well. Thank you very much, Teacher J, uh, Teacher Davy, and for those of them watching at home right now, if you'd like to get the uh, sources for the exercises of our learning, uh, what we call learning exercises, from where can I get it from? Yeah, Delima KPM website. If uh, you want to get it, mm -hmm. so you can go to the Delima KPM website. Mm -hmm. There we, you can find all the uh, reading or writing material that you want. Everything is there, given. Oh, all right. Thank you, teacher, again for the wonderful lesson today. And for those of you watching at home, Hopefully, it has been beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you in our next show. Till then, take care and bye. Bye.